kuliko mbele. Hatuwezi kuondoka kwa shida ambayo tuko nayo ya economy. Hatuwezi kuondoka kwa shida ya ukabila tusipoingia tukue kwa yule alimechaguliwa kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ambaye amepata kula kutoka sehemu zote za nchi ya Kenya. Wizi ulikuwa mkubwa na tukafumilia. Tukasema ni sawa. Lakini hata mukiiba hata mukijaribu kutetea njia ya confusion ya kuleta incitement katika Kenya. Sasa mumepata nafasi tena sasa kabla ya e, kabla ya koti kuamuliwa mmepata nafasi ya kuincite watu sasa. Proper incitement sasa ndio mnafanya. Na inauliza international court. Hegi. Si nyinyi muko mfuate hii kezi. Mfuate hii mambo. Hakuna watu hawaja kuwa wakishughulika kuona uchaguzi ilifanyika na muda gani na ichaguliwa na muda gani. Hata mpango walikuwa naye ya kuhijack Chipukati. That was the plan. Waheja Kipukati ndio asitangaze. Ikawa ni ngumu. All those plans we know what we are doing. We can't talk about Jackie kwa sababu mlijua mapema. And again who doesn't know? Ni nani ni nani ni nani hajui? Hawa wa commissioners wa ine. Eh? Wanahusiano gani na watu ya Azimio? Bibi ya Joho anajulikana? Akilisha yake keki. Hiyo ni girlfriend yake ama ni bibi yake anajulikana ukuje huyu mwingine ni anko ya kanini kega inajulikana namna hiyo wazi huyu mwingine mnambujua ni kasi ni ya nani kutoka Nyanza huyu mwingine ni girlfriend ya nani mnambujua ya kutoka pande ya Baringo hakuna kitu amjui ningeomba wale wanachunguza na international body muangalie hao commissioners wa ine Actually they are the problem they should be arrested and jailed. And it is a treason for those four commissioners. That's why we should focus now because they are the people being used. Na waliwekwa hapo na uhuru mgai Kenyatta na Raila Odinga ikiwa na mpango ili uchaguzi walijua Ruto atashinda ili walete confusion ili waweze kuwa shahidi ambaye sasa wanatumainiwa wako pande ya azimio kutoa ushahidi when we are doing all other things these four commissioners kenyans these are enemies of this country because they are the ones who are planning mambo haya yote and is not planned now ilianza kuwa planned zamani na mpaka sasa wanajaribu ku achieve ile mambo walikuwa wamepanga ningeomba international hey They deal with the, these four commissioners seriously because of the confusion and the fight which has been set in Kenya through Azimio through Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta through Raila Odinga actually these are the people you can see now after stealing all the votes which they stole now they are trying to change the uh, commissioners Nakuru or whatever all the presses because wame maliza kazi yao sasa wanajaribu kumwafikua picha hao kwa transfer. You will not escape anything you did wrong. Neither you are transferred or not transferred. But you played a stealing of the votes to make Kenyans not to elect the people they wanted or making sure you have stolen and you bring confusion of the fight and you know Kenyans sisi tumejaribu especially Rift Valley and the whole country watu wamefumilia hakuna vita hakuna siasa imefanyika kwa heshima na kwa amani na kukosa kumwagika damu kama uchaguzi wakati huu baada ya nyinyi kujaribu mambo yote na kuiba pesa na kujaribu kuleta confusion nimekuwa ni shida now the, the last lap ile mnajaribu kupanga mpango yenu haitawezekana na mimi nawaomba Please usipikanisha nchi ya Kenya. Musifanye damu imwagike. You know the group of Raila Odinga. He has that disease. Kasi yake ni incitement. Odoa anaonekana amechoka lakini bado teke ya mwisho ya punda inaonekana bado iko. Ya kujaribu damu haikumwagika. Kama hawakunywa damu ile amezoea kunywa then he still is not satisfied because of the blood ile amezoea kumwagisha hapa katika nchi hii. Na mimi nasema mambo yako sababu it is in record. It's not something I'm saying it's not record. It's in record. 
ile kazi yote imekuwa nao ni incitement na mimi nauliza wana Kenya tuweke amani hakuna kitu hamjui hakuna mjui, incitement ambayo inaletwa hamjui tujaribu kujiondoa kwa ubaya hii watu neither itakuwa namna gani ama itakuweko nini tunajua uchaguzi tulifanya na tukamaliza wale waliibiwa kura na system na wakafanya vile walifanya we are still there and we are patient because the country comes first other things second lakini Mungu wako kwa kiti hakuna kitu hamutaona yale mumefanya chini ya maji Mungu atayatoa na atakuja kuonekana ukweli wa mambo iko na ukweli iko namna gani and what is going on and what happened and i will ask you god you show who is the winner and who has brought this country together it is known and is going to be established by god kwa sababu mungu ako kwa kiti na mungu ni mungu na mungu hata kubali tumwage damu kama hatukumwaga kwa uchaguzi huu hata kula zilipoifanywa vile zilifanywa hatutaibiwa haki yetu hatutaibiwa haki ya deputy president ambaye ndio rais sasa muteule ule ametauliwa na nchi yote najua namna hiyo lakini mkitaka kusukuma zaidi ya hapo you won't bring chaos in this country because we are not going to accept, to accept at all hiyo mambo mnaendelea mkifanya wizi baka uhuru baka sasa inaendelea kuwa point watu hata una aibu what is your problem miaka kumi yako ulipata shuende nyumbani kwa pumzike ni nini unataka baka na wewe upate kikombe ya damu is that what you are taught baka iwe ni hiyo huyu leila akisalimia kila mtu mnasemaga hakuna uchawi akisalimia kila mtu juzi amesalimia madha kabwa mnamuona sasa ile mambo anaongea vile anaenda mwenendo wake hata anaenda nyanza aje kuangalia nani akiapishwa wanga kwako ulileta kula ngapi kwa leila kwako nyumbani uleta kula ngapi you are just an opportunity ni kula ngapi uletea leila kwako nyumbani ambaye wewe ndio running with ya leila what did you get there you are just riding on opportunity kujaribu kuangalia utajishikilia wapi na ulikuwa kweli una njaa unaonekana kwa sababu you have changed your, your body kwa hivyo mimi ningewauliza hiyo kasuba mnaye muache let kenya be free and god please mungu wale wanakuomba kwa amani tunajua uwezi kuachilia endelea kutupa amani tuendelee kuwa pamoja nchi hii kuwe pamoja na hasa watu wa kenya siasa yetu imekuwa tofauti hata sehemu ambayo ilikuwa imekuwa identified that itakuwa na shida kama Rift Valley kama Nakuru County hakuna damu imemwagika hata ya mtu mmoja na tuliomba Mungu tukamwambia Mungu akuwe mshindi wetu hakuna damu imemwagika no injury hata ile mambo mengine tunapata naga naye ma accident ya nini ilikuwa ni kidogo sana paseni kama tone kwa bahari na hiyo yote ilifanyika si kwa sababu ya sisi ni kwa sababu ya Mwenyezi Mungu hii siasa imekuja ilikuwa imetawanyisha mpaka makanisa ilikuwa imetawanyisha mpaka viongozi imewatawanyisha mpaka administration mpaka mawaziri ambao walifanya campaign Mungu twakuomba urudishe uongozi mzuri na utushikilie na tusameheane tuweze kukaa pamoja hata hawa wanataka damu imwagike ukawasamehe kwa sababu hawajui lile wanalofanya hawajui wewe Mungu yuko wanafanya mambo yao na kifua lakini hawajui kuna Mungu mbinguni si kupenda kwao ukawaguza roho zao na uwasamehe na wale wamechaguliwa ningesema hivi please tuudisha tuweke amani tuweza kuweka watu wale wengine pamoja kwa sababu mkuu amechaguliwa wale wamechaguliwa mwechaguliwa kwa sababu ya nchi ya Kenya hamuche chaguliwa kwa sababu ya constituency yako ama familia yako tafadhali muweze kuweka nchi hii yetu ya Kenya pamoja ili tuweze kuona mafanikio ya uongozi ambaye Mungu ametimizia sisi ili tuweze kupata uongozi ningeomba watu yote amani 
na ningeomba kwa deputy president wetu ambaye sasa amelinishwa kiti yako sasa si ya deputy ni ya rais fumilia na Mungu wako pamoja nawe na Mungu atakusaidia tuliambiwa hautafika kwa debe ulifika kwa debe tukaambiwa hautachaguliwa ulichaguliwa tunaomba amani ili hata watoto wetu na familia zetu ziko nje ya nchi hii pahali popote walipo wana huzuni ya kuona tutaweza tena kuanza mashida fulani ambayo ilifanya wengine waweze kwenda nje ya nchi kutafuta kazi kwa sababu ya shida za baye zilikuwa created hapa kwa sababu ya siasa this time tunataka watoto wetu wote wana wako nje wakuwe comfortable na wale wanataka kurudi wajudi tufanye kazi pamoja and this can only work if the deputy president ambaye ametunziwa kuwa rais wa Kenya na amefanya kazi kwa miaka hiyo yote akiwa mtulivu kwa serikali ya Moi kwa serikali ya Kibake na kwa serikali ya Uhuru alifanya kazi akitupea nia na akitupea matumaini mazuri rais wetu endelea shikilia you are the president ile tunajua kwa sasa wewe ndio Mungu aliweza kuchagua kama wote waliungana na hawakuweza wewe then Mungu alikuwa ana sababu yako. Na kwa hiyo machache nasema tuweke amani katika nchi yetu ya Kenya na wa stop kufanya mambo anajaribu kufanya ya kuleta problem ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. Tunasema koti kubwa ya nchi yetu ya Kenya ambayo tunangojea uamuzi yao. Muamue na Mungu. Najua pesa zitaweza kuwa zinasunguswa usiku na mchana. Najua alipromisiwa pesa watu wengine hata hata hata, hata, hata jibukati na watu wengine hao makomishna wengine wanaluka luka ni kwa sababu ya pesa tunaomba koti kubwa ijue tegemeo yetu sasa ni nyinyi tunaangalia mumwagishe damu nchi ya Kenya ama mtupe amani the ruling and the blood of Kenya and the peace of Kenya it is with you in spring court we are waiting tusiwaone huko mkuu wa kabila Tusiwaone huko mkihongwa stand with the truth we know some of the records we are fearing some of them because of the record lakini muacha mkuu above that muonekane mkifanya vile Mwenyezi Mungu atapea nyinyi amani nobody should interfere with you don't agree corruption hata wengine milengo yao tukijua wako pande gani lakini wacha tuone kwa uamuzi itakuwa ni uamuzi wa haki don't go on the tribal line and i have told you Muna mambo mawili kumwaga damu nchi ya Kenya na kuweka amani. Hiyo yote iko mkononi mwenye. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki na Mungu akuwe nanyi. Asante.